the two things that stood out to me, Jacksonville came in number one in turnover ratio. The quarterback turned it over five yeah. times. And the run, they came in giving up 55 yards on the ground. They gave up 210. That, to me, tells you the story of the whole game right there. We got the Mega Mac Reds here on Birds 365, and Bob Groats is getting himself settled into his broadcast position. Are you ready to rock and roll, Mr. Groats? I'm ready to go. Yeah, look at that energy. Yeah. That's Nick Sirianni like that. Maybe even Jonathan targets. Gannon. It is a happy Tuesday. Yeah. Give me 19 targets like uh, the Rams gave Cooper Cup last night. Yeah, you know? how about that? That worked out for them. 19 targets, yeah. God. Are people catching up to uh, Sean McVay? Uh, yeah, well, he's the only got uh, – There's only Jesus. two guys that he will throw the ball to. And um, I think the other guy, Higby, had like 14. That's pretty bad. I mean, you, you kind of know who to double, right? Two guys, and the rest yeah. of them you don't have to do anything about. So, Oh, and by the way – I, I'm really liking uh, what D'Amico Ryan's is doing, and uh, what a and defense! I, I think he, what a defense for yeah, D'Amico he's, Ryan. He's really creative. Ryan. He 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 mixes things up and has a good plan. And I liked uh, Mike Caldwell's game too the other day with the with the Jaguars. I like the start of it. Uh, you know, they they got worn down uh, by that Eagles offensive line, but you know they're not the first. Yeah, but but you know then five turnovers. I, I gotta, you know, Doug Peterson. I was in the room with him after the game, uh, Jody and Mike. And I mean, uh, John. <laughs> whoa, whoa, so, Bob. Yeah. Jody so I, and I'm Mike. In the, Who's Mike. I mean that little, you know, the visitor, um, the visitor, yeah. visiting coach room. Yeah. And uh, and oh, by the way, I wasn't well received by the by all three of the Jaguars beat guys there. You know, like <laughs> was not well received. Yeah. Not a, him, none like, of us are. Asking One of my Doug favorite Peterson stories is, is Shields, yeah. uh, Shield Kapadia, when he first went to Seattle. Is that and right? He started screaming at uh, Pete Carroll because he was used to our press conferences <laughs> and you got to scream over people. So, and, and you know, yeah. Pete's, known, Pete's known for doing some, you know, things where he's a little bit laid back. I'll say that. And Shield went to his first press conference in Seattle. And, you know, belted out a question. And Pete Carroll said, what are you screaming at? <laughs> <laughs> well, Peterson just smiled. But one of the reporters asked him, they said, uh, how come James Robinson didn't carry the ball more? He said, well, did you see we had we had five turnovers? We didn't have the ball, you know? And they didn't. What did they run? 50 plays? 55 plays or something like that? 47. 47, 47 wow. that, uh, offensive yeah, plays. So you, you can't, you know, that, that makes perfect sense to me. And I think that's the same thing with uh, – you know, Caldwell, how what, the Eagles ran how many? 90? I think 82, 82, yeah. I think. A so, lot of yeah. plays. I, I, no defensive quarter, coordinator can really weather that storm. But, but uh, you know, hey, undefeated. What what a team. What a team. Whenever yeah. whenever you get a touchdown for a score, which the uh, Jacksonville defense did, usually it skews, wins. It skews those numbers about yeah. the total number of plays. But not that drastic. Oh, my yeah. God. It's 82. I just looked it up. 82. It was 82 to 47. Officially. Yeah. Holy macro. So, and usually yeah. you get a defensive touchdown, and I think it's like 80% of the time you win the game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean – uh, well, w as you mentioned, Bob, Jacksonville, the two things that stood out to me, Jacksonville came in number one in turnover ratio. The quarterback turned it over five yeah. times. And the run, they came in giving up 55 yards on the ground. They gave up 210. That, to me, tells you the story of the whole game right there. Yeah. 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 Bob, uh, I saw your tweets again during the game. Do you have a personal beef with James Bradbury? No. Uh, we, we've talked about him before here on the show. No, I no. saw I saw a tweet this week, and uh, John, if you're going to look this up, you know how to look it up. Please do. Yeah, Asser rating against James Bradbury's like less than twenty. Usually, it's ninety eight, a hundred, hundred five. Oh, a bad D back. That's he's disgusting. got one of the best passer rating against in the entire oh, National no. Football League. And you continue that's a Jeff to just Kerstat. crush the guy. Right. <laughs> that's a Jeff Kerstad. It, it doesn't. You know, when I went back, I don't have a vendetta against James Bradbury, but when I went back and watched the review, and I just got through the first half, I didn't do the entire second half. 
Bradbury got beat a couple of times. So, I mean, he made a great play there in the second half. There, there's no doubt about it. And I, for the second – I'll say this, too. For the second straight week or – yeah, for, for two weeks out of the last three, that's what it is, the receiver ran the route in back of him. He, he sloughed off his man and then jumped the route. I mean, it was pretty clear to see what was happening. And, he baited. Uh, he baited Trevor Lawrence. He's yeah, a smart – uh, that, He's that, a could smart been player. Too. that could have been too. Little Shepard used to be really good at that. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, and he jumped the route. So I mean he made a he made a big play there. And you know, the secondary, I mean, against a, a receiving core that that really wasn't that good, they they held their own. Yeah, Bradbury's given up uh 12 completions on 25 targets. So that's pretty good. 48%. Um you know, interestingly, the Jacksonville game was probably his worst game, and he gets the interception. In coverage, the Detroit game was his best game. He gave up one reception and six targets, but uh, yeah. he couldn't tackle yeah. anybody. Yeah, but there were five tackle. drops. We yeah, he up. couldn't tackle. He couldn't yeah, tackle. And there anybody. were five drops in that game. Yeah, right. so you're right. I mean, the numbers, the, the numbers. I posted that video just so people could see. The numbers <laughs> tend to even out. Over, We're still yeah, they do. in a small area. But he's been they do. good. And he's, he's an upgrade. He he still is an upgrade yeah. over what they had. So, but you know, guy, when I, I watched the, the Monday night game and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, I, the Eagles I are undefeated. To to this. Yeah. But, but I don't think, I don't think they beat San Francisco. I yeah. really don't. Yeah. I don't think they beat the Rams either with their try. Well, I don't know about the Rams. The Rams don't look good. That's well, those San offensive Francisco. linemen are going to get healthy, but they need to find another receiver, you know? Yeah. I mean, Cooper Cup had 14 catches. You're right. I, I don't know what Higby is. Is that incredible, though? 19 yeah. targets? I mean, yeah. as good as he is. And they have Allen Robinson. What do you, I mean, move the football around a little bit. He didn't have, uh, I mean, the that offensive line has to get healthier. They they can't just, I mean, those aren't season ending injuries. Well, they Jody need. knows I'm concerned about the 49ers. Uh, that, that defense, that front seven. Uh, can really get after you. Oh, the lot, yeah, yeah. The <clears throat> linebackers are outstanding. Yeah, but Fred this Warner. Is, just, just, just double check them one more time. This is the two and two forty nine ers we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah right. It's hard to believe. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? Look at look at the NFC East. Everybody does. Everybody. Nobody has a losing. Or the the Washington has a losing yeah. record. Right? Three teams would be in the playoffs right now. Right, right. Uh, okay. Eagles, number one seed, Dallas, uh, New York Giants. I guarantee you, Jody. There's not many guarantees I'm going to give, but I'm going to guarantee you the New York Giants aren't in the playoffs. I'm yeah. going to guarantee yeah. you. I'm going to guarantee you that. Well, every and that's why I don't get too wrapped up in these early. Now, the Eagles have been the best team. Yeah, every team <laughs> in the division has the easiest schedule in the NFL. They're all – Bunched in there together. Not if like, they keep playing well, then they got to play each 28, other. 28, 29. Yeah. I mean, it's like it, it, the schedules. I mean, it, I don't know. And, and it's not going to balance out with the schedule. So they're still going to, I mean, the teams that they play, the, the Eagles still. Right. You know, As still, John just said, they got to play each other. If they're yeah. all good, they've all got the winning record. Yeah. At some point, the Giants loss is to the Cowboys. Yeah. And the I, Eagles and the Cowboys are going to play in two weeks. So somebody's got to start losing games when they're playing each other. Yeah. 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 Uh, the Giants, I don't know how far they're going to get with Saquon, you know, playing quarterback, the, the Wildcat thing. Yeah. I mean, did you, you see that some the other day? Yeah, after the fact? I, uh, I certainly I watch Eagles, but I'm trying to stay on top of everything because uh -huh. I do a national radio show. They had Daniel Jones back in the game after he left because of an injury, <laughs> lined up wide as a wide receiver. He's There's, in the uh, game with a bum leg, yeah, and they're just snapping it to Saquon and letting him run. What the hell are they doing? Did well, they, they really think they were faking out the opposition by splitting Daniel Jones out wide. I've been told the NFL Players Association is going to send them a scathing letter saying that they're interested in player safety. You know, they should. <laughs> no, nobody cares unless it's a head injury, Bob. They don't care. They yeah, don't you, care. You might be right. Unless it's any other type take. of injury, they don't care unless it becomes a hot take. Yeah, that's, well, exactly. That's kind of the policy, and unless the public gets on. that poor kid is stuck over in London. Uh, the first round pick from Georgia. I mentioned this yesterday on the show. Lewis seen he he fractured his leg. Ooh. Uh, he's got to stay over in London. Yeah. Uh, I think he's having surgery today, and they're hoping there's no infection. They're hoping he can get back. But nobody cares about player safety in that yeah. instance. 
And and that guy's not cleared to leave the hospital, as Jody pointed out. They cleared Tua. First of all, he didn't have a diagnosed concussion, number one, coming into Thursday night. <clears throat> number two, they allowed him to leave the hospital after clearing him. Yet the NFL kowtows to Twitter and Twitter yeah. outrage. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's bizarre so to me. Hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. It, it just that's that's too much you know my i have my sister is a doctor and she said oh they, and her husband's a doctor and they oh they they gotta they ought to fire the coach too and i said come, uh, on. Uh, uh, come on man the you know coach I, didn't I clear to, them? they weren't listening to me yeah they said the independent neurologist needs to go and and anybody else who was part of it you know uh, yeah now i you know i think mike mcdaniel is a goofball but i'm not gonna fire him for he, he can't clear a player He's I know. either cleared or or not cleared. That's like Nick Sirianni. What does he always say? Is he cleared? You know, <laughs> that's not my job. I'm not the expert, and he's right. Yeah, but yeah, everybody on right. Twitter's an expert. I, I I know that, so maybe he should be an expert. Oh, by the way, we're going to have to find out who the emergency kicker is because one way or the other, Jake Elliott. Yeah, I mean, I, I think. Well, this no, is they're going to have to sign a kicker if he can't. I yeah, mean, they're not. this is going to be a problem. I, I yeah. kind of, I mean. Looking, I, I was telling John about this, Jody. I mean, the guy who who uh, blocked the or tried to block the kick, he was late, and he just he slid through there at a hundred miles an hour. It wasn't a cheap shot. He couldn't stop himself on that. On By the, the way, I meant to look. And they at rightfully that play. drew the flag for uh, Robert right. Yeah. They got absolutely. it right. Absolutely, absolutely. No, there's there no question about that. But it wasn't a cheap shot. But he came through there so fast that Jake was just hitting the ground. He lifted off a little bit to kick the the field goal. 43 yarder he was he just touched down and the guy took his right leg out and then his plant leg it was just i mean you know bob i i know you looked at that closely i meant to look at it and i didn't get to it last night again did he come from the the left side yeah uh, he came the kicker's left side right so it, it did he come around the edge yeah, um, he came around. Because the that's edge. where Patrick Peterson blocked the kick on Noah Tungy. Oh no, no, no! Oh, I'm sorry. He came on the kickers. If the kickers looking at the goalposts, yeah, it was the other side from Patrick. Okay, Peterson. yeah. But he still was... got the he still got the kicking leg because yeah. of the way his body slid through there. And uh, and Jake, he was okay on. Uh, I think he kicked a twenty. Yeah, he kicked the field goal. He yeah, came after back. they turned down the points, yeah. they couldn't get in the end zone. They had yeah. to kick a shorter field goal, and he made it. Then yeah. he took, then he kicked a kickoff into the end zone, but his uh, the next time he had a kickoff, it, it barely dribbled to the five yard line. So I mean, it, you could tell that there was a problem, and even but on that's that, 20, the, that's even the, the concern with the special team. Yeah, it is. Like I, somebody sees, all right, Peterson blocked the kick, and they say maybe we can get this kick, and all of a sudden you get this reputation. Then they're coming after these kicks hard, and your kicker gets. Yeah. That's one of those little things that their special teams, I've been talking about it for weeks, not just the kicking game, but everything on special teams. They're, that was they're the, not good on special teams. That was the side that Jordan Davis, they put him on. Yeah. So, so he did his job. The guy didn't, um, the guy was late. He wasn't going to block the kick, but um, you know, the, the wreckage or the, you know, the cumulative collateral damage, whatever. I mean, that that's tough. Um Jake has yeah. been he's been so reliable. He did miss the miss a PAT earlier in the game. What was it? He had made Yeah, but that was that was a terrible weather game. I mean, yeah. I uh, I'm not giving him an excuse, but he And made, oh by the way, we were looking laces, that up. He made like 60 something straight yeah. extra points. Uh, the laces were were pointed to the left. Even the not, laces. Man. Yeah, you got to have the left. They got to be in front. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. I Sometimes you, know, you can't get them in front. You still got to make yeah. it. You still got to make an extra point. We've established that uh, Bob Groats' family doesn't listen to him. Um, <laughs> but I listen oh, yeah. to him. Maybe that's my mistake. Uh, and he's right about the laces must be front. Yeah. Yes. Because the last time I heard that was in the Ace Ventura movie, which, of course, was the Dolphins against the Eagles in the Super Bowl, yeah. which is exactly what we're getting this year. That's um, where I got it from. Yeah, Ace. Yeah. yeah. La yeah, Ray Spinkle was do it Ray not Finkel? do was not go Finkel? in there. Ray Spinkle was a hell of a a, a kicker. So sure he was. transitioned away from it. Yeah, but, yes, uh, he was. Um, Bob Groats, how about a son Reddick? Uh, I am yeah. trying to remember if you were a big, uh, great signing by the Eagles or what they do in signing a non-true defensive end. He has really come up huge these last couple of weeks. 
I know it's a small sample size. Again, we're getting tired of saying that, but it is what it is. Small sample size. How good does he play? He's he, he's doing exactly what they're paying him to. Um, he, he's not just a, a quarter a guy who rushes the quarterback, but he those strip sacks. That's his mo. And um, wow, I mean, you, you can't argue with the results. Now, Trevor Lawrence again. And I was telling John this throughout the day. This is one of the softest quarterbacks I've seen. You know, he, he was so soft. It made me want once bet. I, I said once was better than him, you know, but uh, he, he did his job. And the last one was just embarrassing. Yeah. Just, that was came that, right yeah, to the front porch, yeah. right to the front porch. Yeah. And tomahawked it out while Lawrence was looking the other way. Now, just no awareness, you know. But uh, he that I mean they're going to need him, and uh, I think what happened with him, why he's so effective now, he didn't really. I mean, th- he didn't do much in the preseason, and he was they were trying to figure out a role for him, <laughs> and now they got that, and uh, and I like that. Uh, I like that five man front that they have too. That what is it? The five two over the jingle five jingle? Uh, five one penny typically. Yeah, uh, the five, the five one, one penny. penny. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That that is a killer defense. Um, it is a killer defense. Right, honest when, NFL. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does a good job. He's watching the show right now. Yeah, it probably is. But yeah. uh, no, the Jordan Davis, and you kind of saw it. And I know people are upset because they see the numbers. We mentioned uh, they only had forty-seven defensive snaps, so I think he played seventeen. But when he stops that run on first down. And you're in second and long, third and long. I've been talking this, Jody knows, I've been talking about this for a while. I hope people recognize that allows the Eagles to get more aggressive. And that allows them to go after the quarterback in second and third and longs. And they get the sacks they want. They want the sacks. The Eagles, I don't know if they lead the league in sacks. I haven't looked at it yet this week, but they're up there. Yeah. They're up there in sacks and turnovers. And that's and what everybody I, wants, right? A lot of I that might, has to do with I Jordan. might add it, it hides some of the deficiencies in the secondary, you know, at uh, yeah, you know, it hides Bradbury for you. <laughs> Stop with the deficiency. Bradbury's the, playing well, I said bro. Some of the get off that hill. Yeah. You're gonna die on that yeah. hill, buddy. Jody has Jeff Kerr on speed dial. <laughs> um that Josiah Scott, I'll go here. Now, yeah. that, now that's a, that that might be a legit question. You might now, yeah, you might want to go there. A I th- yeah, possibly. Now, I, I, in a weird way, I think that weather helped the Eagles' defense. It helped them. Oh, well, a couple I think things so too. Yeah, it helped. Uh, Josiah Scott did not play well, but Jacksonville could not throw the ball because of the weather. I think they completed eleven passes. Trevor's just you know, playing point guard, just dishing the football off, uh, fumbling all over the place. Um, And then Jack Driscoll, too, playing left tackle. Yeah, I think if that was – I think if that was pristine conditions, the Eagles would have had some issues with Josiah Scott and Jack Driscoll. Am I overreacting to that? Yeah, yeah. I I I am? Yeah. No, no, no. I think you're right. Uh, They would have had more issues. But – but you know, all things considered, they did a great job. If you look at the number, their numbers in this game compared to other teams that played in the in the, um, the rain and the slop. Well, they were Jacksonville, really good. Jacksonville. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they're playing in the same stuff. Right. What's the difference? Well, no, and there were other games the too. Weather. There were other games too. I mean, if you look at the other games, I mean, the Eagles only had one turnover. You know, and and that was who who was that? That was on the receiver, right? Um, uh, did, did, that, did both of you guys know that Miles Sanders was a mutter? That he was yeah. going to come up with his best career game? Yeah, and Miles was. was, yeah. Miles, was uh, Miles was talking about it after the game. He's, you know, obviously he's a Pittsburgh guy, and he was making fun of the all the players from the Southern United States. He said they don't like the tackle in this weather. Um, yeah, I never thought of Miles as uh, Earl Campbell. But he looked like Earl Campbell. Yeah, he's got. Jackson, I, was, I was asking about his uh, the cleats for this game. He's got these nasty cleats. They're like twelve inches long or something like that. <laughs> it's a good grip, you know. I mean, he, he knows. You're right. He he knows how to do this. Mutter, you know, playing in cold weather and stuff. Snow. He he knows it. 
you know who else did? Uh, they had the Eagles have had a bunch of running backs who are really good at that. LaShawn McCoy, that snow game. He's he, great. He, oh, yeah, uh, the Lions. He changed uh, his game. shoes out. I think uh, after a cup after a series or two, and bang. So, but um, you know, I I, I got to say this too. Um, the Eagles, their their plans going into these games, um, the first four games, they're good. They're good. yeah, they're I, good I really I like them. I mean, yeah. receivers, um, the receivers are are wide, they're not wide open, but they're open enough for uh, for the quarterback to, to locate. The quarterback's making quick decisions, and um, and he's not running as much. I, I like this. I like where this is trending right now. Well, he ran a lot, but well, not not as successfully. But he came up with some big conversions. Uh, yeah, but, but he I had mean, to because even when weather. he ran, yeah, he went down. I mean, except for that play at the goal line. I mean, you can't be taking that. That helmet. Yeah, sixteen. Helmet. Uh, he had sixteen rushes. So that's a lot. But yeah, he but had to because of the weather. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure that those were real. Uh, some of those. Were no, like most, of them, yeah, yeah, right, most of them. Yeah, most of them. But that that hit at the goal line. I mean, and and there's another thing um, that that was nasty. You know that um, I, I wonder if, if um, either got he in or, though got yeah, in either he or or the linebacker that hit him. One of the I mean, I, I thought he initiated the head to head. He put his head down first. But yeah, that uh, was fourth down, so he had to get in. Yeah, uh, you know. I get See now, credit. if you're interested about player safety, then I think that's what they were the direction, one of the directions they were going, right? Get rid of that helmet to helmet thing, you know. But they try, but yeah. uh, it's football, and you're right, time, exactly. Time guys are going to hit themselves. In, that's in that's exactly it. Okay. All right, All right. let me uh, revisit something we just brought up in passing. Josiah Scott, not great. I'll have to call my buddy Jeff Kerr and find out what the passer rating is was against him on Sunday. I can give was... you his rating. I got it right here. Um, no, no, that's okay. the wrong one. Um, it was not good. Well, all yeah. three of us can agree that they, although the Eagles won. And, uh, hey, Jody, given... Jeff, Jeff Kerr does a great job, too. He I does. Mean, he, he, he comes he up with stats mean... that I've never seen before, and uh, sometimes I don't know if they actually fit yeah. the point he's trying to make. But uh, they do in the case of Bradbury here. I don't know what the passer rating was against Josiah Scott, but we all agreed he didn't play well this week. Any Zach chance... wasn't. Hey, hold on. Wasn't that hold, good on hold on. Hold on. Any chance they go in another direction if Maddox can't play this week? Well, Put someone else out there in the slot? You mean the guy with three names? Move him to, to the slot? Yeah, I think you got to give him. You got to knock him down to two names because he's not playing that well yeah. either. But uh, Chauncey. Chauncey. I thought three, maybe they would go that direction. I, I thought um, that was a possibility too. I thought that maybe, you know. But um, who, but who, isn't, isn't Josiah Scott the number one backup at safety right now? Uh, no, that's uh, Kayvon. Kayvon Wallace. So you, uh, uh, If you move Gardner to the slot, you put Kayvon into safety? Yeah. And what that – I thought they might entertain that because Kayvon has a history with uh, Trevor Lawrence back at Clemson, used to yeah. practice against him. But uh, they want the conservative route. I will tell you this, the pro football focus grades, to give you an example, Hassan Reddick was 93.5, so he was the top uh, defender. Josiah Scott was the bottom defender, getting a 29, which is oof. That is an oof grade. Not, not good. Um, no. Any chance, I guess I'm hung up on the secondary here, Slay back, which we don't know yet, but uh, it looked like he's back out on the field. Uh, Sirianni said what he said yesterday. Wasn't going to reveal anything. Ooh, you got to keep that competitive advantage. Um, but we're assuming Slay's going to play. McPherson played well. He played better than Josiah Scott. No, that's for no, sure. No, yeah, he, no, he he better than Scott. Better. I'll give I you think, that. Gave I, me Josiah yeah. Scott's uh, PFF rating. What that was McPherson wasn't in the twenties. Like Josiah uh, Scott. No, he, he was. That. He got. It. He was not. He was the fourth worst defender. The the four mm. bottom defenders were Zach McPherson, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Marlon Tui Pelotu, and Josiah Scott. Those are the guys who didn't play in, well. In that reverse order you're talking about. I didn't yes. think Marlon was so bad either. I thought he, he had some. Well, he didn't play games. that much. So yeah. It, he, yeah, he let me, it, John, since you got those numbers open, where the hell was Miles Sanders? Uh, he well, wasn't looking, one of the top 10 rated from the top down Eagles. How can that be on a career high day? Yeah, you know, it's all about consistency from play to play. So if you, you know, that's the thing about pro football focus rank, rankings. If you, 
say miss a block, you know, you're you're going to be graded down uh and and they don't wait like big plays. So that's one of my problems. Yeah. With well, uh pro football focus. You forgot ratings. to mention too, if um if the grader is out having a sandwich or something and he misses a series, you know? Yeah. Well, that's it. Pro football like, football like Miles. Right. Yeah. No Miles, one's no one's Miles, monitoring them. Miles yeah. was number eight on offense. Uh he got a sixty four point four, which is not bad. Uh, but he no, got wait a minute. number eight on offense. Yeah, you know what? Stop but there. What do you mean that's not bad? It's we not, needed it's not only eleven bad. guys on offense. Well, they had some substitutes. No, I mean, but... I'm, I mean the grade. A lot of good grades on offense. The grade. I'm glad I didn't subscribe to them. I, I tell you, man, that that's the grade. Uh, much, I'm yeah. talking about the grade. They had a lot of good. He got. Uh, I'll take uh, edge stats. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, it's about you know play to play so they don't like i think i've always used this baseball analogy somebody told me jody will get this roberto alomar at his prime robbie alomar was like a great well-rounded player hit home runs bat great fielder gold glove fielder could steal bases you know the old vibe tool player and somebody told me he's the best player in baseball the best overall and i said yeah he probably is at the height of his career but he wasn't the most dominating he wasn't the most impactful because that's the home run hitters I think ryan howard in his prime with the phillies those guys are impactful pro football focus rewards consistency more than impact and that part i don't agree with yeah you know, there, there are bigger plays in the game not all plays were created equal except exactly pro football focus. exactly you said you said it in 10 seconds better than i said it in two <laughs> minutes yeah all right, Groats. Uh, we had, I know a couple of you said you thought the Eagles could get out to an eight no start. Well, you're halfway home at four and zero. Oh. Easy time in the desert. The fact oh, that yeah. they, they it, haven't it, faced a, a quarterback who can pull the ball down and take off like uh, Kyler Murray that doesn't give you any reservation now, going into that, this week. That's their weapon. He's their weapon. I mean the um, the receiver is still suspended their best player right that yeah, guy Ray hopkins got a couple seven more games go, right? yeah. i mean yeah I, I, their other weapon i think is jj watt right <laughs> and he played yeah poor that was a scary they, story they man. are they're short of guys i mean zach Ertz is um you know he can pretty good first down zach Ertz could be an issue this weekend the running back the guy who was at pittsburgh uh, i'm not a big fan he, yeah i'm he, not a big game he, he, he can he'll, he'll get the ball in the end zone if you're if it's fourth and goal at the one, he can do that. But uh, yeah, M Kyler Murray's their only weapon. So uh, and this could be another turnover fest. I mean, if he if they get behind, the Eagles are really good at getting that lead and then and making the other team play their game. And I'm impressed. I, I fully expect that to happen again. Yeah, but this you know, Jack, that was the best part. Bob of the Jacksonville win is they got behind fourteen nothing. So yeah. They proved they could win a different kind of game, which I think is important. Uh, yeah, you know. it, it was, and uh, but but um, yeah, it was fourteen to nothing. But we knew, we kind didn't we kind of know that um, you know the Eagles, especially because of the pick six, that that was a little too good to be true. You're you're right, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, they did have that. They were at the Eagles thirty four on that fourth and three. So if Trevor Lawrence didn't just dribble the football. Yeah, I, you know that, who knows. Who knows? That was one of the softest plays I've ever seen. You know, it just, you know, yeah. he saw the guy coming. He who, who was it? TJ? Was it TJ? I think it was Fletcher. I think it was, it was Fletcher. Fletcher. Yeah. It was yeah. Fletcher who would never, even, <clears throat> who couldn't catch up to him if he tried. It was like, no. and he dropped the football, you know, and yeah. it just froze. Well, all I'm saying is beware the Cardinals. They were way behind their first week of the season. They went against the Rams. They were down at half against the Panthers this past week. They're not afraid to to come uh, make a comeback. Uh, the quarterback is a highlight film waiting to happen, both good and bad. They and usually right. play well. They play well against the Eagles there too, traditionally. They, All right, they, before they, they, before I let you go, Bob at Bob Groats, Delaware County Times. Read him there. We got to talk to Zach Ertz. What did you you know? He 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 pretty much admitted that last eighteen months here were no yeah. picnic for him. It was hell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
you didn't want to talk about it that much, but obviously he and Howie weren't getting along. Was that just because they drafted Dallas Goddard, you think? No, I think he got he, – he was insulted by the, the contract thing, and then um, I'm sure that escalated because um, Zach, he, you know, he, he doesn't – he was one of the most – he was one of the well-liked Eagles, you know, from that. Yeah, oh, Eagles. yeah. Kind of unsung. I mean, not like Kelsey, but I think people liked him a lot. And um, and he he did a lot of work in the community, too. Still does. And, yeah. Still and the, does. And the stuff that he's done for that for that team, you know, the the sacrifices and, uh, you know, the uh, the way he's represented the Eagles, I think he felt he was really slighted. And, and they just, you know, they just minimized, marginalized him and his contributions. So, I think yeah, he, he played really- that playoff game with a lacerated kidney. And uh, yeah, I you think know, it I all forgotten about back that. that. Yeah. yeah. They, he had to sign a release, you know, yeah. saying the Eagles weren't, wouldn't be liable, you know, if he died or something, you know, how about yeah. that? Yeah. But to give, uh, I guess I'm defending Harry Roseman and the organization here. They weren't going to cut him. They were going to keep him. They kept him for a period of time. They did trade him, got something in exchange. And they traded him with a team that made the playoffs. And they traded him with a team which, oh, by the way, he ended up staying with. Yeah, so they, 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 they could have done that Zach sooner. feels the Eagles did him dirty, I, I'd have to disagree with that. Well, they, I think that it worked out fine for him. They should well, have done I, I think sooner. he likes Arizona, no doubt about it. Yeah. He, he lived and in, he's got know. a kid. He said yeah. the, the kid is a little tank right now. So, yeah. you know, we'll yeah. see him years from now playing at how, what, Stanford. How, and Stanford. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. How do you know that Zach Gertz's kid is a little tank? He, he said, said it. He, he said, said it. A, That's what he said yesterday. That he's a little How old tank. Is kid? The kid was he was born in uh, like two 40, months, forty two inches long yeah. or something like that, Ooh. wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was just in colossal. Yeah, he's a newborn he like, father. He weighed think, like thirty five pounds or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just huge. Thirty five pounds. I'm exaggerating a little uh, bit. Yeah, a little anyway. bit hyperbole from uh, Gross. Yeah, yeah, but I guess you'd be expected when you got two. Uh, yeah, uh, that level athletes, both mom and dad, as uh, those yeah. kind of players in the you genes. Expect the kid to be a uh, in the Olympian DNA. Someday. Yeah, yeah, Zach's the second best athlete in that house, which yeah. is pretty impressive. So, but I, I don't the first one to tell you that. But guys, I don't see the Eagles getting tested until Week Eleven. By the way, and, wow, and that's when they play Green Bay. See, that's the beauty. You're, you're, you're up to ten and zero now. Yeah, well, I I mentioned that too. I said it could. I be know 10 you said eight. That. I didn't know you went to ten. If you upgraded <laughs> so that, to 10. that is the, br- the beauty of Bob Gross. He's got the Eagles at ten and zero, but they can't beat the 49ers. And and plus, or the Rams. Be, only you said I that earlier in the show. Slid. I I you thought you slid that one in, Gross. Can't beat the 49ers or the Rams. Yeah, how about that? I, I mean, that's what I, I think. If you put the the Chargers, even with uh, Justin Herbert hurt. If you put them in the NFC, they could win the pennant. <laughs> the pennant. Hey, yeah. Hey, I like the pennant reference. Hey, and he Jody, did. how about the Phillies? You knew it was going to happen, right? I, that's why I told John earlier I didn't need, need to fill in the blanks on Monday Night Football oh. for me because I didn't watch. I had to watch the Phillies make the playoffs. Sorry. A yeah, little, yeah. little more important. I had to what put is that? Two, uh, are night. they two and out or three and out? What is I, it? I think it's two and out. Yeah. yeah. So but I, I, you know, I don't. Hey, hey, they got they got Wheeler and Nola pitching, and both That's of them true. threw shutouts true. into the last Aren't time they, they were out they're, there. They're they're, they're and, on the and road. And if they get the Mets, the Grom and Scherzer both got smacked around by the Braves this weekend. If they get swept, does Thompson go? No, Thompson's the stays? manager for next year. Yeah, they can't officially. They couldn't do. Oh, extend them now. You can't extend them. There are rules that don't yeah. allow you to do. It's like the Eagles okay. can't extend Jalen Hurts right now either. Phillies you can't think, do it with Rob Thompson. You think he's they back will. no matter what? Okay. Yeah. He should yeah. be. He should be. First he time they make it. the playoffs in 11 years yeah. and he takes over a team that's buried below 500. You bet your ass he should be their manager again next year. All, All right, right Gross, we got to run. Right. Always a pleasure, buddy. Right, see you guys. Feel free to give Thanks, McMullen Bob. as hard a time as you need. Yeah. In the Boy, it's dark in here. Did anybody else notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. You going right. down there yeah. to, to talk to uh, yeah, Michael Yeah, I'll see Park? you down there. All, All right. See you, guys.